What happens if we mix engine oil? What if you have leftover oil from different brands? Can we put them all in one engine? What if we mix cheap oil with the expensive one? Will it make better oil? Hello, it's Olimek. In today's video, we will be changing engine oil on my 2017 Toyota Camry. But we're gonna be doing something different. We will be mixing five different oil brands, but they are the same viscosity. So all these oil brands, same viscosity, 0W20, fully synthetic. So in my previous oil change, I used Toyota 0W20, fully synthetic engine oil. But in today's video, I will mix all these five brands. I will take all sample from each oil brand and one sample from mixing all these five brands and send it to the lab to know the metal particles in the oil which contains iron, copper and aluminum. So in this video you will know which one of these oils better for the engine and mixing them is good or not. There are so many talking and it's like a myth if you mix engine oil brand you will damage an engine but in today's video I will take the risk and mix 5 engine oil brands. So I have 5000 on this engine oil and I use Toyota 0W20 fully synthetic engine oil and I will take a sample so we can compare it with this one. So let's check up the car and drain the engine oil. If you are new here I have a detailed video about changing engine oil on 2015 to 2017 Toyota Camry and I will put it here if you want to check it out. Here are all the products and the tools I will be using brake cleaner for cleaning, 14mm for the drain bolt, funnel, filter socket and a ratchet, engine oil filter and gloves. And the last thing, oil drain pan. With this video it took me a longer time to make it because I had to use all the 5 brands and get the sample from them after 5000 kilometers. So we can have accurate data when we send it to the lab. But I'm only showing the mixing oils now. Here is the first oil, Manol, second Valvoline, third Toyota fourth pencil oil and the last IC Dilco. Alright let's pour them in and I didn't bother to mix them because at the end it will be mixed in the engine and we know this engine takes four and a half liter so I will put these four and for the last one I will be using Mano which I know the quality is not that good with this one so I will put half of that and now I will see you after 5000 kilometers. It's been after 5000 kilometers and I haven't noticed any difference with the sound of the engine, especially in the morning, but we will never know till we get the metal particle numbers to know if mixing 5 oils increase wear of the engine or gives protection. It's been after 5000 kilometers and we're gonna take a sample from mixing all these 5 brands and I already have a sample from Mano which I took it in the winter that's why you can see the milky film which is due to the moisture content in the winter, but that's not a problem. And here is the sample from mixing 5 brands. We're gonna send all the samples and get the result. Alright, here is the wear data analysis after 5000 kilometers for each oil brand individually. So we can see manual oil performs 12 to 16 parts per million and for copper 3 to 6 and aluminum 2 to 4. It worked okay because of the low cost of the oil. But if we compare it with Toyota, Toyota performed way better than that. So for iron particles 10 to 14 copper 2 to 4 and aluminum 1 to 3 which is lower than manual but if you compare it with AC Dilco Toyota worked better than AC Dilco and for Valvoline it worked way better than Toyota we can see all the numbers are lower and at the first position which is pencil oil worked the best for iron 8 to 12 copper 2 to 4 and aluminum 1 to 2 this is one of the cleanest GTL based oil of course the price for pencil oil is higher than the other brands Alright, here is the lab analysis for mixing all these 5 brands. We can see for the iron is 13 to 17 which is higher than the manual which is the lowest quality oil I used in the first place which it was 12 to 16 when I used alone and with mixing all these 5 brands now it's 13 to 17. For copper now it's 3 to 6 which for the lowest quality oil was 3 to 6 about the same. And for the aluminum, 2 to 5. And again, if you compare it with the lowest quality oil, manual, it was 2 to 4. So that tells us mixing oils will increase wear of the metal. So mixing oil made it worse from the worst quality oil. But the biggest question is why? Mixing different brands of motor oil can make the wear worse for few reasons, especially when it comes to iron, aluminum, and copper wear in the engine. Each oil, Toyota, Valvoline, 
Pencil oil, acetylco, manol uses a unique mix of additive like detergents, anti-wear agent, friction modifiers. They are carefully balanced with their own formula. When mixing together, they may cancel each other or overload the engine, leads to loss effective protection, faster oil breakdown. Even if the oils are labeled as 0W20, they may use different oil base type for example group 3 versus group 4 synthetic oil this can cause separation at high temperature and even lubrication film metal on metal contact so the bottom line is don't mix any engine oil with each other it will make it worse stick with one oil and change it regularly let me know which oil brand you are using on your car and you want me to a test on it and send it to the lab so we can have accurate data like this Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.